Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I started reselling in 1999 on eBay when they were just under a year old. So today is Monday and on Mondays I like to do a what sold over the weekend. And normally for the past, I don't know, six to eight weeks, it's only been like $300 for the, the weekend sales. And then today it was today because of overnight sales though. I don't know if I should count those, but I am because I've got to wrap them. I have 10 things of myself to wrap. Um, and it's like $419, which is awesome. And I have something that my daughter sold and I'm wrapping her item as well. So I'm just going to show you what sold and for how much. And I may, um, remember to insert pictures here to show you what they look like because they are bagged and I'm trying to keep the video at an entertaining length, so to speak. So without further ado, I'm going to just let you know what sold. So the thing that just sold maybe five minutes ago that kind of put me over to 400 was this birdie gray bridal dress and i will insert a picture somewhere and it's a full length gray green satin maxi dress by birdie gray i have just learned about birdie gray from my daughter who is also a full-time reseller and i picked up the dress for 5.99 and someone came and bought it for 75. this was on ebay so i did have a question first she asked was the dress altered in any way? And you wanna make sure you put that in the description if it is altered, because lots of times, you know, bridal and maid of honor dresses, people don't like to hassle usually and buy them. They're usually plentiful at my, at my uh, thrift stores because they take up room and people just don't like to bother. From my experience there, look at that. It's suctioned up in a small little ground shipping and it is going to uh, Mississippi. So she, asked me if it was altered on eBay. I said, no, it wasn't. She said she was tall and whether it, it was a full length dress. I said, yes, that it's 60 plus in length. Um, so she bought it, she bought it. And then right after she bought it, she canceled it. Sad face, but then she bought it again and she apologized for canceling it. She thought I meant it was 60 inches in length. Cause I said it was 60 plus and it's over 60 plus. So, okay. So next, and I said that sold for 75, these bras sold for 50, 50. They equaled 60 and I sent a $50 offer. And these Soma bras, you wanna pick them up in a generous, this is a generous size 40G. And these sold on Poshmark. So I had two of them, I did not bundle them. And what I do is a lot of people bundle them and they kind of out themselves out of money because if something is bundled, someone's gonna lowball you and offer you what they wanna pay for one, basically, from my experience. And so what I do is I list them separately, but in the description, I put that if you're interested in more than one, then there's others listed. And that allows your buyers, your potential buyers, to browse your closet. And they may see other things that they like, because that's happened a lot too. So I was very excited because I do pick up bras for $2.49 at my thrift store. Going to Houston, Texas, of course. I pick them up for $2.49 and I do love to, you know, to get a good, a good $50 offer. Okay, next are these loft jeans, size 20. I do add stickers. And these are going to New Mexico. And I will insert a picture of what they look like as well as the bras. Um, these are going to New Mexico and they they were, let's see, I had them on eBay for $35 and someone just came and outright bought them. They're like a fray, well, you'll see the picture, kind of a fray crop style in a nice plus size. So that was nice because I just recently stopped picking out the loft jeans because I've been sitting on them. Go figure, you know. I think I picked them up earlier this year and we are halfway through the year, so probably wasn't my best buy. How are everybody's sales doing? How was your weekend sales, more importantly? Okay, three things down. Next are some shoes. These are Dulce Vida shoes and they were a size 11. This is what they look like. They are real leather. They have some rose gold. I mean, they look, maybe they were worn once or twice. In fact, I think I brought them for myself. I might have worn them once or twice. Um, and I just have so many sneakers, I just really don't need all of them. 
So those sneakers, if they are on Poshmark, I ship them priority mail and they go in a standard shoe box. These shoe boxes you can get for free. I need some stuffing material in there. Ooh, am I still in frame? Woo! Into the stuffing material. Let's see here. I have friends that save their packaging materials at order. So I never really have to buy packaging materials, which is nice. And the priority mailboxes are free from your post office. If you don't want to go in store, you just order online at the United States Post Office.com. Where's my tape? Oh, there it is, right in front of me. <laughs> uh, so anything, everything is, you know, on my wrapping. I try to only pay, even the eBay tape is free because I have a store on eBay. And four times a year, you get a voucher for, I think my voucher is, I don't know, $25, $30. Four times a year, it gets me free tape, so I'm not going to complain. Free eBay tape. And the reason why I like the free eBay tape, because the priority mail tape is free as well, but you cannot use the priority mail tape on um, ground shipping. And on eBay, I try to just do ground shipping just to save people money. All right. There must be a lot of weddings because a Zazzy dress, again, I will insert a picture, full length, bright red, modest. I believe this one didn't have any slits, if I'm recalling. Bright tomato red, and it sold for $69. That probably would have been an offer that my Pasha VA sent because I think I had listed for 75. 69 is still lovely because I do spend $5.99 per dress at my local Goodwill. So it is Posh, so it's going priority mail in one of these five back envelopes. And it's going to Kentucky. So I guess summertime weddings, or maybe people are looking forward to wintertime weddings these two red and green Christmassy bridal dresses. All right, so, okay, so next, and I think lastly are all my jewelry sales. And my jewelry sales are buy one, get one free. I only sell jewelry on Poshmark. I get these free little eBay boxes. But when I don't have these little boxes, I get the free Priority VHS. Anybody remember video? Videotapes, free VHS boxes from Priority Mail. Shipping that are free, so. You know, it's whatever I have. So all my jewelry on Poshmark is buy one, get one free. I just started using that really nice kind of Easter grass. And someone came and bundled one pair of silver hoops. I have some stickers in there. And then a cute little elephant bracelet with some albalone shell detailing and a little green beaded. So she bundled it. She bundled these for 20 25 each, sent her a $25 offer, and she got them. Actually, you know what? I believe all my jewelry. Someone bundled two pieces of um, two pieces of jewelry for $25, and they get them, they get both pieces for $25 because I have buy one, get one free for my jewelry. Alright, let's put some stuffing in there so it doesn't wobble around. Alright, and so there it's just like a little cute box big huge um a lot of people use the dymo printer and i do have one but those labels could get expensive and in fact they are expensive and these the paper that from walmart the white paper is free and these plastic sticky labels are free so i'm not getting rich here you know just making a living paying my bills and i would rather do a free and not account for the Dymo. And that is going to Washington State. All right, so the next earrings were these little pink marble, or ceramic, excuse me, ceramic. And her free pair were these little pink studs. So she is, and then she's getting some free stickers. I get these little, um, what are they? I think they're for weddings and that people put like those mints in them or Jordan almonds, not 100%, but I get these. I used to get them on um, Amazon, but I found that they were cheaper on AliExpress. So that's where I get them. There, they're in. And again, the grass, put it in. And then some packaging material on top so they're not in the mail rubbling around. And 
they don't fall out of their envelope. Okay. So these are going to Indianapolis. All right. There we go. So yeah, jewelry sales. Now, what do I attribute my higher sales to this weekend? Because I've been doing the same thing week after week and I couldn't, I was kind of in a stock of only $300. Oops, my camera. Sorry about that. Camera's wanting to fall. Okay, so what I did different, and this was Sunday. Let me tell you, hold that thought. This was a very good sale. Someone bundled um, $200 worth of jewelry, which I'm not going to bore you by showing you every single thing, but it's a lot of jewelry. And someone bundled $200 worth of jewelry. And I sent a $100 offer. Buy one, get one free. And she gladly accepted it. She's happy. I'm happy. And it all fits in this little box. I put a little thanks sticker. And so this was the best jewelry sale. Okay, getting back to what I did different. What I did different is I used Posture VA, which is a sharing app. And I think I spend like $36 a month. Or is it 26? I don't even know. Something like that. Um, and it shares my closet. But because I have 8,000 listings on Posh, it never picks up all 8,000. So what I did different is Sunday... Um, did I do it Saturday? I think I might have did it Saturday too. I went, while it was sharing, I went on my phone and started sharing. So it was really a continuous of sharing. And I think that's what did it. My daughter is also a reseller and she does even better than me. Um, and what she does, she does have a smaller closet. But she has her Posture VA constantly sharing within a 24-hour cycle. It's constantly sharing. But because of the amount I have on Posh, and Posh's limit is um, 8,000, I think it is, listings or 6,000. Even though it, it is that, it never shares all of my listings. And I have emailed them before and they've never gotten back, so, so be it. I really don't have a problem going in there and you know sharing because if I'm not doing anything else on my phone, I'll, I'll, I'll go like that, share it all, and then I'll just like put my phone down and it's doing its thing and I'm doing other things. So it's no big deal. Okay, next one was $25. Okay, so that one was $100. This one's $25. These last two are $25. And this is going also to Texas. Go figure. Okay, so this lady, I have a feeling she's not going to be happy. I'll do an, um, I will do an update if my intuition's right. So this lady about two weeks ago saw these earrings in my closet. And they were $25. They are vintage. Nothing really special. In fact, my pictures even show that there's a couple white tiny beads that are missing and they're right here but they're not over here and just a blue center you know sto uh, stone there's no markings anyways had them listed i think for 20 and she offered 10. i declined and i messaged her that my jewelry's buy one get one free and she never did anything um and then like a couple days later from that she countered or not she didn't counter i declined she offered again but this time 12 dollars I declined again. I messaged her again saying, hey, my jewelry's buy one, get one free. So you can get the $10 if you order another pair. Didn't hear anything about, about it. I thought she left for the week. But then uh, the day before yesterday, she asked for $15. That's what it was. And I countered her 18 and she accepted. So I'm giving her a free ladybug pin. I don't know if she thinks she's getting two of those pairs or what. I got some free stickers, Babe Ruth, and some other stickers I'm putting in there. I just have a bad feeling. It is what it is. So, what I do is I... Where am I going with this? I um, screenshot all the messages of me telling people my jewelry's buy and get one free to basically prove to Posh that I've made the initiative to have dialogue with my customers because that's part of shopping secondhand to have the dialogue. Going to Texas. And I screenshot them so I don't have to go back in the event that she gets them and she either opens a case, a Poshmark case, or she contacts me and says, hey, you know, I'm not happy. Where's my free, you know, didn't understand or whatever. Then I'm able to message her through posh with the photographs of hey i tried reaching out to you you know one two three four you know eight times or whatever just so that they see that 
and just to keep the communication and then just say, you know, apologize. That's pretty much all you could do. Okay. Last thing for 25 was two pairs of earrings. They're both clip-ons and um, she bundled them, you know, 25 each, 50. I sent her a $25 offer, which she accepted. They're some lock clip-ons. They are clip-on and they're kind of like a lock with three little beads. And then polymer clay, these are artisan made. And I guess she's thinking about the fall because here we go, Halloween vibes there and they are clip on and they are made of clay. And they actually have the artist's signature on the back, which I put in the photographs. Free stickers, $25, bam. And keep in mind, I spend maybe a quarter. So I don't mind giving them buy one, get one free, really. All right, let's wrap this up. So on Poshmark, most, I would say most of my sales come from jewelry. Jewelry is kind of exhausting. I have, I'm looking at it right now, I have maybe, goodness, maybe 100 to 150 bins full of jewelry. And it does, it gets exhausting, especially at my age, trying to find, you know, when they all look alike after a while. But most of my sales from Posh come from jewelry. So, you know, got to do it. I do sell clothes as well, as you could see, but most of my clothes, like I sold those two bridal dresses, or one, one, one was eBay, one was Posh. Going to New Jersey, last sale of mine, and now I have my daughter's sale. Okay, so yes, jewelry, for those of you that are new here. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm the crazy reseller. Okay, so for my jewelry, it's the alphabet, and then it's also like one through a hundred of numbers. This is zero. Yeah, zero. And these are how I have it. And in my posh closet, I have with each pair, I take a picture, take a picture. And then in the description, I'll put, O. well, after I describe them, then I'll put, O, so that when they sell, I'll go to my massive inventory. Again, those are all my clothes that you're seeing in the back, but I'll go to my inventory for my jewelry. And then I actually have to look through all of these to find the one because they're not individually, you know, bracelets, necklaces, and then just, um, you know, other pairs of vintage jewelry. So that is how I do it. And I have those small clear shoe boxes from Walmart, but then I also have, oh my goodness, these big ones that I've sourced for a dollar at the thrift stores. And this is R. And it's like, when I sell something at R, I think I have about 10 of these ones. When I saw something at R, I'm like, oh, now I've got to actually look through this. So sometimes I'll just dump it all off to the ground and just being really invested. But for jewelry, such as the $100 one, the $100 bundle was for 10 pairs of earrings. And you have to pull 10 pairs of earrings, you know. Okay, so this is my daughter's and she is out of town right now. So that is why I am wrapping for her. And um, I do it the same way. And she does not offer buy one, get one free. So someone just came out right and bought these earrings from her. And I added some Nutella sticker and a little pretzel sticker. And now I will put some wrapping on top. And that's it for her. Okay, I think I'm done. And I kept this video under 20 minutes. Hooray. Now I can go have breakfast. Oh my goodness. All right, I appreciate. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and share to uh, um, share my videos. And I appreciate it so much. If you have a YouTube channel, comment below and tell me because I will watch your channel. All right, take care and I will see you next Monday. Bye-bye.